that moment where we decided that the right thing was for us to do something big and commit the entire company to it, it's a big deal. The stories tell of a golden age long ago when our civilization spanned the system. It was a bright and hopeful time, but it didn't last. Something hit us, knocked us down and tried to stamp us out. No one knows exactly what, but we do know this, very few of us survived. And those who did owe their lives to the traveler. The fantasy you have when you're creating an experience is that someone else is going to enjoy it. One reason that games are so intriguing is that it's reaching players in ways that we haven't before. We're really gonna make a conscious effort to build an experience which is gonna be meaningful for people. Like how do you keep a player going for 50 or 100 hours over some number of months? And to not just wanna play the game, but to wanna play it with their friends. Legends say the Traveler sacrificed itself to save us. The mysterious sphere still hangs where it made its last stand, low above the earth, keeping silent watch. The years that followed the collapse of the Golden Age were hard, but slowly we joined together to build a city beneath the Traveler. And now we've begun to venture back into the wild, only to find that we're not alone. Strange and deadly creatures have occupied our old world, and they're pressing hard against the city, probing for a weakness, trying to stamp us out for good. The limitations are our imagination, our ability to conceive these ideas, and that's a pretty special place to be in. Your story begins at this moment of great adventure and peril. You are a guardian of the city, a soldier able to wield some of the traveler's incredible power. If you can find a way to save the city, to reclaim all that we have lost, you will become legend. If you fail, the last light of civilization will go up. We needed something that challenges and inspires all of us. Something that I think has enough ideas in it that'll last us for the next 10 years. We are blazing a ton of new trails. We're building something alive. It has a nature that we don't totally control. Things are gonna happen that we don't plan, and that's amazing. The best thing about Bungie is, even though you have these crazy ideas, you know that they're gonna get funneled into a game that's fun. We're creating something completely new, and it's a scary place, but if it's not scary, then it's not gonna be good. We all have a ton of passion, and we all have just enough crazy to pull this off. We've gone from continuing to make Halo games to doing something which certainly draws on our past experiences and plays to our strengths, but it's new and exciting. It's gonna take on a life of its own. We didn't even know how big Halo was gonna get. How, how can anything be bigger than Halo? We'll find out. What's up guys, it is me yet again here with Pro Nice on here and today we've got some Destiny news which is the next game currently made by Bungie and is published by the dreadful Activision and um, as you can see on the screen now you just saw um, the VDoc for the game and um, right now I'm, I'm really speechless about this game it looks absolutely amazing I mean the graphics on that thing is absolutely incredible and we've got some weapons that look really cool and some of them look like they're from Halo which is something that's even better I hope this game becomes such a great game and I'm, I'm re really looking forward to this game so far so let's get started with this so first off let's look at the 
current weapons that you can use um, in this game so so far we have the some sort of assault rifle looking weapon here and uh, it's golden of course and uh, we don't know yet for sure how much damage this will do but we can only like speculate how much um it might do maybe maybe you can compare it to the assault rifle uh in the in the halo games and uh, the next picture here we have the sniper rifle which is of course look which of course looks like the sniper rifle from halo 4 and i'm really liking this idea I, I really like the shape on this thing it looks absolutely amazing i'm guessing this thing is going to be very powerful in the game so i cannot wait for to see this weapon in the game and next we've got the python um which is a pretty good weapon and here we have we have the player with the combat knife which seems absolutely amazing i'm guessing we could be able to like do some assassinations or something like that that would be really awesome to see something like that in the game and the next shot we have <laughs> Um, the guy which is pretty cool armor here and um, right now we can see his I'm guessing this weapon is going to be very powerful maybe we can say we can say it's like a shotgun or something like that or maybe we can compare it to the rail gun in Halo 4 we are not sure yet how much damage this thing will do uh, to other players in the game and we also have a guy that looks like um, <laughs> from a guy from Assassin's Creed there so that's pretty awesome and then the next screenshot is one of my favorite here. We have a weapon that looks like a BR from Halo 4. As you can see on the weapon, if you can look closely there uh, towards the right of the image, you can see that there is like a counter there for the how many rounds you have left in your magazine and that looks pretty epic so far because it looks like it's from um, Halo 4 so this, there's a lot of reference to uh, the Halo games um, from this game so far. And here we have another screenshot showing uh, what, it be, what it will look like when you actually start playing the game. So this is like an FPS screenshot there. And this picture is really interesting because it seems like if you can look closely on into the screen where the guy is pointing there, you can see the same weapon that I've been talking about which looks like the power rifle. But we also see like a cross here that looks like just like a... The assault rifles cross here uh, in the Halo game. So this is absolutely amazing here. I'm really looking forward to this game. I just cannot wait to see what Bungie is intending to do here. And for the last screenshot, we have a nice looking environment there. And the graphics looks absolutely amazing. So I'm really looking forward to this game so far. It's really amazing and I cannot wait to start playing this game. I hope they release a beta for this game because that will get players to actually start, you know, getting the feel of the game. And maybe, probably, they might do that sometime, but we're not sure yet. And um, so far, I think this game is looking absolutely sweet. So that was it for today, folks. This has been Halo Reach Pro Nation here. I hope you enjoyed my latest video here uh, on um, Destiny, which is the next game made by Bungie and published by Activision. And um, I hope you really enjoyed this video. So until then, Mwape out.